All right, here we are doing the anterior surface of the brain stem. So we already went over cerebral peduncles and all that good stuff. Uh, the interpeduncular fossa. Let's see. It, it would be here. See, here's the peduncles. So it would be here. And we'll hold there. And the attachment site for the oculomotor nerve is oculomotor. Um, next, we have the basilar, pon basilar pons, which is this area here. Um, trigeminal nerve attachment site. What are you? Here it is. It's going to be on the side here. Next, you have the abducens. And oh, snap. Abducens, if you remember from head and neck, is the only one that comes out the posterior side of the uh, midline. So it's actually going to be towards the back. Um, let's see here. Facial nerve number seven. There it is there. Seven and eight is here. Facial and vestibular cochle cochlear. Let's see, next we have the pyramidal decusation. And this is going to be all the way at the bottom. Remember he talked about fibers that are going to cross. You can't see it on this model. And it's not number 37, so you just can't see it. It's going to be down here. And there are going to be fibers that cross. Um, let's see, what's next? Pyramids. Here's one, and here's one. Number 39 is a pyramid. Uh, olive. Olive is going to be sandwiched between these two nerves, so it's here. Next, we have the attachment site for the hypoglossal nerve, cranial nerve 12, and that is here. And then we're going to have the following cranial nerve attachment sites 9, 10, and 11, which is glossopharyngeal vagus and spinal accessory nerve and those are all actually sort of kind of on the back so here they are so crap stay whatever you see it so here's um, 9, 10, and 11 olive hypoglossal 12 and that's it for the interior view so I'll holler back